Uh, let's see, Gabe, thanks mate. Which motherboard and or other components would you recommend if I plan to drop a 5950X and a GPU once the market stabilizes? Hello and welcome to Bite Size Tech. I'm your host, Rogue, and today a word from our sponsor, Crypto.com, home of the Visa card that pays up to 8% in rewards and the app that pays you up to 14% annually on your crypto stake. Join more than 10 million users on the world's fastest growing crypto app as you trade with confidence on the world's fastest and most secure crypto exchange. Tech has more information and a special sign up offer at the end of this video. Budget 1200 bucks, not including CPU, GPU upgrade, playing Warzone and Battlefield. Uh, the X570S Aorus Master. It's expensive. This beast. It's expensive. Four M.2 slots and all of the everything. $1,200 for everything, not including CPU, GPU. So case, power supply, motherboard, RAM. The problem with, he used the word budget, and he also used the words 5950X and GPU. Warzone and Battlefield. What budget? You're just going to buy the best of everything. If you're buying a $750 CPU. I don't reckon the market's going to stabilize until next year. You're just buying the best of everything. Yes, this is, this is nearly $400 motherboard. But it's kind of like the ultimate last end AM4 board. By the way, I don't know if you saw my tweet earlier today, my love but I will pull that up really quick. So you know how people have been considering, that's not it. You know how people have been saying, wait for DDR5, wait yes. for DDR5, wait for DDR5. Wait for it's all 30s. about the DDR5. Wait for the 30 series graphics card, same thing. Okay, I've got these pulled up. Oh, it's, <laughs> it's sold out. Oh my gosh. All right, here we go. Mm. So we've got the Team T-Force Vulcan Z32 gigs of DDR4-3600 for $115. <clears throat> There's the Gel Polaris RGB 32 gigs of DDR5-4800 for 350 But that is... Um, it was in stock earlier today. It's, I mean, they probably had three of them. $350 for, wow, this is 100. They're both 32 gigs. Now, before everybody says, but it's DDR5, it's so fast. Really? This is. 3600, but it's 4040. What is it? CLA team. 40, 40, 40, 77. How fast is it again? 40. <laughs> That's awful. That's not faster. At all. No, it'll be slower. It actually might be slower. Go, go to the other one and go down and yeah, 18, 20, that's half. Now, when the DDR5 is not 4,800, when it is 6,400 or 8,400, then it will be faster. This is the first, this is like when DDR4 came out. When DDR4 first came out, it was 2,133 and 2,400 was typically what you would find. DDR3 was a 2,400. But the CL rating was lower. DDR3 2400 is faster than DDR4 2400. DDR5 will not be faster than DDR4 for a couple of years. And it will be probably three years before it's cheaper. It will eventually maybe be cheaper. But yeah, I mean, uh, every time I've posted RAM upgrades, I've tweeted about cool RAM deals. Inevitably, there's always somebody who goes, DDR5 is coming. Wait for DDR5. It's going to be expensive. Well, DDR5 tighter timings, <laughs> not DDR5, DDR5 in DDR5 at all is going to be expensive. Yep. Well, if that's We will not see DDR5 at prices comparable to DDR4. I'm going to say for two years. Two years? I don't think it'll be two. I think it'll be I think 2023. Oh, people are kidding themselves. Do we finish answering Gabe or not? I mean, is he just not playing those? Or is he playing on what he's got at lower detail and lower resolution until he can just upgrade? If his you're buying computer? a $700 CPU, you are building a super premium computer by a super premium motherboard. You don't have to buy that motherboard I just showed you, which is $389. It's a lot of money. But you should be spending $300 on your motherboard. 
you should not be buying a 200R motherboard. That CPU, because because everything in your computer, because you're going at least 64 gigs of RAM, if not 128, you're going multiple premium NVMe SSDs, you're going a very premium power supply. And if you're not, what are you buying that CPU for? And honestly- a nice case to fit it all in. And what <laughs> video card is it going with? A 3090 Ti or a 6900 XT. Which means then you need good cooling, which need a good cooler. So it all, all of a sudden you've just built a $5,000 computer, which is fine, but then $100 on the motherboard is pretty meaningless. Correct. How many of you have a Visa card that pays you up to 8% on every purchase? Crypto.com offers an amazing deal on their Visa card with cash back that is an unbeatable deal. No annual fee, no signup fee, no credit checks, no interest payments. It works just like a prepaid debit card, allowing you to spend your money anywhere Visa is accepted. But wait, there's more. Get your Spotify, Netflix, and Amazon Prime subscriptions 100% paid for by Crypto.com. You heard me right. Use your new Crypto Visa card to pay for your subscriptions and get 100% back in rewards. Earning 8% on your new Visa card is awesome, but how would you like to earn up to 14% interest on your crypto holdings? If you're holding crypto for investment, inflation protection, or price speculation, it can be frustrating to feel like your money is just parked. Yes, you really can earn up to 14% annual interest on your crypto paid weekly directly to your account to spend however you like. The interest is paid in the same token that you're holding. So if you have Bitcoin staked, you are in Bitcoin. If you have Ethereum staked, you are in Ethereum, and so on. Flexible terms are offered, including zero lock, so you can withdraw your crypto anytime you like without restrictions, or you can hold for one or three month terms for a higher rate of return. Of course, you can buy, sell, and exchange 100 plus cryptocurrencies with 20 plus fiat currencies using bank transfers or your credit and debit card at true cost. Crypto.com is first and foremost, a crypto exchange. There is so much more to explore, I have barely scratched the surface. DeFi features including a private wallet with full control of your private keys, margin and derivatives trading options for advanced traders, crypto credit allows you to borrow against your holdings with no deadlines or credit checks, crypto NFTs allows you to explore the new world of non-fungible tokens, crypto pay allows you to pay any merchant with crypto and you earn up to 10% back in rewards, and that's not even everything they have to offer. If you're looking for the place to be in crypto, use our link in the video description below to sign up today, you'll get a $25 crypto sign up bonus and 30 days of 0% transaction fees on credit and debit card purchases of crypto. It supports the channel and it gets you a great offer to get started in the world of crypto.